Yeah, man, what's up, man? I just want to talk to y'all today about this Cassidy. Cassidy versus Goods the Animal of the URL. First of all, I'm a Cassidy fan. I've been a Cassidy fan for a long time. That's the first little motherfucker I heard just punch, just be punching. I used to study rap. So he punches and I love it. He got wordplay, but ever since I've been a fan of Cassidy, his flow, even though it was tight, it just was never. He had a dope flow. He got a dope flow, his melody, how he put words together and all that, right? But it was never believable to me. Like, I never believed, even when he talked about his gun bars, what he going to do and all that, it, it, it never sound believable with his flow. You know, it, it's more like poetic. It's more like he just reading a poem. And it's gangster, though. Like, he, he be, he like he reading a gangster poem and he's spin bars and punching and using figurative language and all that bullshit he be talking about, but it don't sound believable, you know, and, and it never sounded believable, his whole flow or what he'll do. Cause it's like, it's hard to explain, but the way the URL structure, the structure of the URL flow is, it's more like a talk to you rap. You got to talk to the niggas, man. Cassidy to be all over the place rapping about this and that. Then he'll try to bring some back to you. Then he go back all over the place again. No, it got to be directed. The whole verse is like you making a song for the nigga. You got to talk about him, break him down. Then throw a little your shit in the middle of it. You know what I'm saying? Throw some jokes in, interact with the crowd, you know, spin around, you know, perform that shit, act out your bars. All the bars you spend, act them out in a believable way. <clears throat> you know? And that's all I'm saying, Cassidy, man. If you can structure your flow the way the, the, way the ultimate rap league is, plenty rap leagues and plenty ways to rap and all that bullshit, but the ultimate rap league, the URL, the way they flow up there, Cassidy don't do that. He don't rap like that. He can't stick with them, boy. There's a lot of motherfuckers that rap everywhere. It probably something that could kill Cassidy right now. Probably never get a chance. But I'm saying, man, just because he could rap and he the uh, uh, punch and got wordplay and put shit together, man, he can't. It don't sound believable. It sound like a fucking Eminem or some shit. Like, he don't rap like Eminem. I'm just saying, Eminem never sounded believe This weird-ass white boy talking this crazy shit. That that shit ain't... I never... Eminem, he could put the words together and rap and shit, but... Man, nah, Cass. You got to talk to goods. You got to break goods down to be goods. And everybody be like, ah, goods ain't the best rapper. Goods... Ugh, he talking about goods and all this, man. Let me... Good, one of the top niggas. He ain't got to be the best goddamn rapper, puncher, and all that shit, but good talk that slick talk and style on niggas, man. That shit counts. That shit counts in front of the URL crowd. It counts, man. Good's gonna kill them in the room. Y'all can sit on the internet and break down the bars and shit after they put the, the shit on the internet. Y'all can break down the bars and all this bullshit. Oh, Cat said this, but Goods is gonna style on this nigga and big boy him. He going to big boy him and style on him and slick talk him. Y'all talking about Goods ain't got no bars. N nigga, Good one of the slickest talking niggas in the URL. Probably King got slick talking. And he put that shit together. Well, you better break some of his shit down. Goods will talk that shit, man, and style on you at the same time, which makes it sound believable. You believe it when Good say it, man. Most of these niggas just be rapping just like some... Like a goofy ass white boy rapping shit and shit and just saying all this crazy. You don't believe that shit. He, he ain't got the right gestures. Ca Cassidy can't even perform, man. Watch how goods perform on him and style on him. And y'all need to go watch T Rex. I think T Rex wanted the king at performing. T Rex will make you believe his shit, man.
a classic battle, T-Rex versus Young Ill. What Young Ill had crazy wordplay, snapping, going crazy. But when T-Rex rapped, you forgot everything Young Ill said. You didn't even believe nothing Young Ill said. Cause T-Rex performed the hell out of that shit, man. Just watch the whole T-Rex verse. You just can skip the T-Rex verse, man. And, and, and it's just a one-round battle. But T-Rex performed the hell out of that shit. It made you just, man, you got to watch that shit. That shit was magical. I know why T-Rex in my top five. I don't care what nobody say. T-Rex got to be up there in that top five. Because T-Rex, people be like, oh, he spit mixtape bars and shit, but... T-Rex go, man, T-Rex make you believe his shit. That's a, you got to believe these niggas, man. Even the T-Rex ain't even busting his gun and doing all that shit. When he get through rapping, you believe it. He's styling. He, he motherfucking performing. He performing, man. You got to watch it. You got to watch these niggas and study that shit. Y'all niggas stuck in a, in a, in a, in a fucking late 90s, early 2000s and shit and all that little shit. Worry about uh nigga just spitting, standing there spitting bars. Nigga, this shit has turned into a show. You got to get up that motherfucker and perform. Shit. Most of these niggas getting between five and 10,000 of battle and shit, and some nigga getting 15, 20,000. So motherfuckers just don't want to see you up there just standing in one spot, boring and shit, spinning your bars and moving your hands a little bit and making crazy faces at the crowd. That shit boring. You got to get up that bitch and put on a show. So that's what it's about. And Good's going to put on a show on this dude. I'm telling y'all, y'all, it's going down tomorrow. You dig? The shit going down tomorrow. And this the reason Cassidy can't beat Good's because Good's is going to style him. Niggas ain't going to even want to hear what Cassidy's saying. They're going to see what funny thing Good got up his sleeve next. Because Good got the charisma. He got the so-called swag everybody talking about, but that ain't shit. He could put little clothes together, right, and cool and shit, but that ain't shit. I can dress my ass up, but it's a lot of niggas can't dress. I don't give a fuck what you got on. You could have a lot of money and can't dress. Good just know how to dress and do all that little bullshit with win over. It going to win over the bitches, regardless. You niggas can hate all you want, but the shit win over the bitches, believe me. Because I be fly. No cocky, though. No cocky. You know what I'm saying? But... I'm telling you, man, Good's going to style on this nigga. You're going to believe what Good's saying, how he talks to him. all y'all bar judging motherfucker. Ah, oh, man, he ain't saying shit, but fuck what he say. Watch how it impact. You got to go on impact. You motherfucker be like, ah, oh, that, that bar went cold. He ain't say shit for real. But how, look how it impacted and shook up the fucking room, though. That was, you niggas getting judged on shit like that. Y'all niggas that think it's about bars. Any nerd could get in there and spit bars, spit some shit and put words together, man. Any nerd could do it. You know what I'm saying? Any nerd. We don't believe you. Man, the crowd gonna get the cat's gonna get out there spitting all that poetic shit and trying to change. He gonna fuck up because he probably he's smart now. Well, he gonna try to adapt and try to do that little shit. He going to try to rap the way the URL niggas rap and try to perform. He going to fuck up because he ain't being himself. He just hit it too quick. He just, so he got to be, if he structure his shit right and rap it in the URL way and leave all them fairy tale ass bars alone and talk directly to the man. We don't want to hear shit about how much how much your ice bubble and all that crazy shit, your jewelry, all that bullshit. Talk it in a slick way, comparing it to goods or whatever. Don't just be sitting up there going all over the place rapping about bullshit you can put on a song and shit talk to goods nigga that what i want to see and i want to see you talk rap i don't want to see you with the same little four bar setup or the same little my hand and all that little bullshit man nah nigga you got to talk to this nigga man interact with the crowd look up look around you know what i'm saying talk to the people man Talk to goods, talk to the people, throw a little joke in there, perform, act your bars out, and make it look believable, make it sound believable. But you ain't even got that kind of flow to make your shit sound believable, man. I, I'm trying to tell people that URL crowd different, man. Cats could go anywhere else in the world and just rap it like that. Everybody going to be like, oh, oh, but them URL motherfuckers, they judging on everything. They ain't just judging on, on bars. 
Nigga, y'all, nigga, keep talking about the bars is back. Bar, he has to keep talking about the shit he didn't want. He didn't kill all these niggas back in the late nineties, early two thousands, shit, and all that bullshit, man. This a whole new different rap, man. This ain't that shit you rapping about back then, man. Well, niggas can run up on niggas with they sixteen. They done wrote about three years ago and spit that same sixteen at a nigga. That's just, just a little sixteen, but it ain't directed at nobody. It's like a freestyle. You know what I'm saying, man? Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You got to write for this nigga and talk to this nigga, man. And do that shit in front of thousands of people while they judging the content you coming with, nigga. That shit hard and niggas been trying to tell him that he, he, he think this just standing around on a block where everybody going to like a little flow. These ain't regular mother... Man, you stand on a block and rap just any Tom, Dick, and Joe walk up and they hear your little wordplay, they going to be like, ooh, he can rap, ooh, he just killed dude. But nigga, you getting on a URL stay in front of the best rappers in the world and y'all talking about goods can't rap. Nigga, I'm telling you. Good gonna have some good strategic and smart. Everybody, ah, good scared. Cassidy promoting the hell out of this. He promoting the hell out of this motherfucking uh, battle and shit. He got to. Shit, everybody, ah, he already got paid half. And I, man, I don't give a fuck what he got paid. He got to because his name ain't shit in the battle. All y'all old heads coming out the closet talking about some goddamn Cassidy because he didn't goddamn I'm back in battle rap. Now, y'all win stunts. Y'all wouldn't worry about no fucking Cassidy and battle rap until he started talking about it. Promoting the fuck out of that shit on his IG and Twitter and all that bullshit, man. Nobody wouldn't think about goddamn Cassidy. After, after that disaster he had against disaster, <laughs> everybody like, he three old of and shit, man. That shit was trash. If he come at good like that, he done. Sitting up that rapper, you let boy fuck you in your butt raw. What the fuck? Man, and motherfucking overlooking disaster got here crazy ass A rap and shit, but disaster was spitting at that nigga for real. Especially that first battle, they had two battles. Cassidy fucked up and got booed the first. Man, that when he on a big stage, it sounds stupid when you on a big stage. He got that little small room flow where you got about eight, nine, ten niggas around, and he spit that little bullshit he be spitting. Or whatever, the word play, the figure it figurative speaking and all that bullshit he talking about. He finna he still ain't talking about. He ain't man, dog, these niggas tell stories and scheme it, double entendre, goddamn triple quadruple entendres. Niggas be hitting niggas, hitting niggas, hitting niggas, flipping niggas, talking to you while they doing it. They ain't sitting up there rapping that shit in some sixteen bar scheme type shit. My hand nah, nah, just hitting the bar at the bar. These niggas is talking to you, man. And the crowd love it. The crowd love the conversation they having with you. And the crowd love the performance they put with it. Then when they get mad and go off on a little scheme or some shit and just rap at your ass for about a minute straight, hit your ass with bar at the bar at the bar, then get back to talking to you, spin around, throw the hat down, look at the crowd, go crazy. Man, that shit, all that counts in the URL. So, Cassidy, if you got all that, the structure, the way they doing the shit, the performance, the charisma, the interaction with the crowd, you know, Goods got all that, man. Goods gonna get you. I'm telling y'all, nigga, man, everybody, y'all see, man. Good luck, Cassidy, the bar king or bar guard, whatever the fuck. Man, them niggas gonna eat your ass up. That's a different type of world over there at URL. And y'all see, man. So I just wanted to talk to the people today, man. You know what I'm saying? Did that boy Runny Pritt signing out.